Paddy Ashil. Looks over the top for Mudrik. His control was not bad, and Igor had to clip the cross away for a corner. Safety first. Good movement from Mudrik in behind Veltman. One touch to control, lifted it beyond the reach of Steele. Igor did the sensible thing. Gallagher. Adia Shields up. Good ball across, 1-0. Enzo Fernandez nods it in. And Chelsea have lift off at Stamford Bridge. It was their third corner of the afternoon. Gallagher got his delivery right. And Enzo Fernandez profited once the ball came back into the six-yard box. Driven across this time by Gallagher. Badiashil kept it alive. Great little flick across. Fernandez, they're so hard to defend against. Brighton fall behind at the bridge. Great ball from Fernandez, Sterling across, and on the stretch it again. It's Igor. Such a critical interception. The goal was gaping for one of the two Chelsea players in the middle. Sterling slipped in by Fernandez. Would have been a simple tap in, but for Igor. Again in from Gallagher. Again headed across. Oh, off the line. Is it? Oh, Dzazi wide. It's a goal, it's over the line, and it's Levi Colwell. His first Chelsea goal, and it had to be against Brighton, of course. With a very similar goal to Enzo Fernandez's opener. Driven across by Gallagher, kept alive, and Gilmore did so well to clear it but he just couldn't do enough to keep it from going in Colwell rising highest yeah, it's not far over the line at all but over the line it is and that is enough Chelsea double their lead here is Van Hecker seems okay Buonanotte Buonanotte caught again and Brighton have something to say about this. Ray Pawson is checking that Buenanote is OK. Gallagher is going to get booked. A dinger again up against Tizasi. He took that nicely into his stride. He's got Caicedo for company, but he's released Lalana now Buenanote. Bonanotte! What a strike! Sumptuous from Facundo Buonanotte to bring Brighton back into the game. That's the first time we've really seen him as an attacking outlet. And he only needed a couple of touches to silence Stamford Bridge. Always looking to get in on that left-hand side. And Chelsea just let him, once he did, he unleashed beyond Sanchez, who could get nowhere near it. Wonderful strike. Mudrik is going to have a go at Veltman. Mudrik across! What a stop from Steele! Mudrik used his pace to burst down the left. It was heading in and Steele with an athletic leap to his left to palm it away. Still goes long again. Hinchelwood beaten to it by Dzazi, but Gilmore is there. And Gilmore chopped down by Gallagher, and that's trouble. That's a red card. The game turning on its head right on the stroke of half-time. Doesn't get the ball. Clear free kick, clear yellow card. Right decision by Craig Pawson to send off Conor Gallagher.
Whipped in by Gross. Sanchez claims and claims well. Now Sterling on the counter. Finds Jackson. Mudrick through the middle. Mudrick racing clear. Can he make it three? Milner got back at him. Mudrick takes a tumble. Mudrick wants a penalty. Will this spell trouble for Brighton? And he will be asked to have a look. Jared Gillett thinks there's enough evidence. Craig Pawson will have to agree with him, but referees tend to. This could be a spot kick for Chelsea. And he is going to give the penalty. Fernandez scores. Chelsea 3-1 to the good. Delight for Mauricio Pochettino and the Chelsea faithful. An unfortunate incident for Brighton. James Milner getting in a tangle of legs with Michaelo Mudrik, who was running at top speed, and that has cost the Seagulls. Chelsea. Restore their two-goal lead, 3-1 to the good. Mitoma, Milner's on the charge, Mitoma whips it. It's hacked clear, not particularly convincingly. It will drop for Gross, Gross will have a look. Gross will fizz it, what a stop from Sanchez. That one really needed saving, it was travelling and heading in. Matoma invites Milner. Cross it goes. It'll drop for Adingra. Gross onto his left. And it's out for another Albion corner. Adingra drops the shoulder. Whips it. Pedro with the header and it's wide. It has taken a deflection, though. Brighton have another corner, their third in quick succession. Milner whips across, and it's there! Brighton do have a goal back. Milner whipped it across. Robert Sanchez couldn't save that one. Joao Pedro gets across his man and gets on the score sheet yet again. That's a brilliant header. No one on the back post. Pedro, hungriest to get to the ball and flicks it beautifully into the net to add to his tally for the season and give Brighton a glimmer of hope for a late, late leveller here. Flick down the line for Mitoma. Milner, Pedro, Pedro on his left and Sanchez stops it. He caught that pretty sweetly, but Sanchez was waiting for it. Pedro out to a dingra. There's space here for the Ivorian. He wants a handball. It's a penalty. Oh, my word, a dingra. With the cross, I don't think Mauricio Pochettino knows yet. I think it's hit him in the head rather than his hand. His hand was outstretched. But it's glanced him off the side of the head. It's a corner. VAR has come to the right decision here. Levi Colwell did not handle that. Roberto De Zerbi watches on as confused as the rest of us because it hits Levi Colwell on the head. The penalty's given, then overturned. It went out for off Colwell, what would have been a corner. I'm not sure what he's given here. He's giving it back to Robert Sanchez. Milner. There is the whistle, Chelsea can celebrate, 
Brighton for the second week running involved in a topsy-turvy, highly dramatic Premier League game. Chelsea three, Albion two.